Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to cover Diamond Spire Gardenias from the Southern Living Plant Collection. Uh, most of the time when I'm telling you about a new plant, uh, it's some sort of minor difference. It, it, has, it has a different flower color. Maybe it was bred to be slightly more compact. Uh, maybe the growth habit's slightly different, but rarely do I get to show you a plant that's just truly unique. Um, Diamond Spire was um, uh, bred by Buddy Lee, the same person who does Encore Azalea, this uh, Starburst Encore Azalea that's beside me here is one of his uh, new introductions as well. And uh, this gardenia is truly unique. It gets maybe four or five feet tall, but stays super narrow uh, down at the base. So you can keep it as narrow as like two feet uh, in width. Um, the, the foliage is completely different than any other gardenia I've ever seen. It kind of wraps around the stem. Super dark green, lustrous uh, foliage uh, year round, uh, so it's evergreen. It blooms in the spring. It has single flowers um, that start uh, in the spring heavily, and then it will repeat bloom uh, during the uh, summer and fall. I've had this one in my yard since spring, and I've pretty consistently had at least a single flower on it, and that's pretty good for the first season. I think I'll get more uh, next year. Uh, let me give you a, a close up of this uh, unique habit. So right out of the gate, you can see this is just a completely unique uh, gardenia. The leaves, um, the foliage on this thing is almost fiddly fig um, uh, type of a shape of a leaf. Of course, they're much smaller than that, but super, super interesting. Uh, the little seed pod right there was where flowers were earlier in the fall. I'm shooting this near November. Those seed pods will turn red and give a little more, even more decorative appeal to it uh, in time. Uh, Diamond Spire, like most gardenias, is going to be hardy in zone 7 uh, to 10. They like uh, well-drained soil, so keep in mind if you have a clay-based soil, you want to mound gardenias up for sure. Water them in well, but make sure you're letting them dry out between uh, rains and uh, waterings. But really, just a super unique plant. Uh, this can be, it can be pruned uh, in the late winter. Um, they bloom on uh, new growth, so uh, that, that, that's when I would do it. And it can be sheared into this cone shape. Uh, this is kind of its natural habit. Obviously, this one has been pruned once or twice to accentuate that even more. So uh, that can be done uh, any time between, you know, late winter and then you wait for the spring bloom and then you can prune it slightly again if you need to. And then it can be uh, fertilized uh, once in the late winter. It would make a great container plant. You'd have to be careful here in the uh, south, uh, you know, if you're in like zone seven or eight, uh, not letting it freeze solid in the winter. But uh, otherwise, just a perfect container plant can be underplanted with other you know flowering things during the summer but i thought you guys would be interested in this plant it's a truly unique uh plant it's got four season interest with the beautiful uh, uh shiny foliage and then of course the fragrant super super fragrant flowers i don't even think i've said the word fragrant yet there's so many unique things about this i didn't even mention that it yeah it's a gardenia and it's super super fragrant uh and uh of course the seed pods turning red just the whole thing uh so so interesting to me so uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my uh, channel for future content.